Merhaba. Şükran Cazilan. Passport. I've looked through your phone. I don't need those anymore. So why am I here? You're here because you're a young woman who traveled to Dubai, stayed in Dubai for less than 48 hours, and then came back. Is that some sort of crime? It's not a crime but it's unusual. It sort of during these times, it merits a closer examination. So I'm gonna ask you, what were you doing traveling to Dubai by yourself and staying for less than two days? I just did a quick vacation. A quick vacation. Get a lot of sightseeing in? Yeah. All oh, the really? Typical tourist spots. Where'd you go? You know, they have that giant hotel that has the indoor ski park, the really tall building. The tall building? The thing you can ride up to the top. Burj Khalifa. Okay. Um, it says in your information, you work as a waitress at a diner. I do. Okay. You stayed at one of the most expensive hotels in Dubai. You stayed at the Armani. It took me a long time to save up for this trip. So you thought you'd save up and take a trip for less than really two days to the Middle East? I always wanted to go. I work hard at my job. It only afford two days off. Do you know anybody in Dubai? No. Okay. What I find interesting, excuse me, don't mind me looking at this. Go ahead. I find interesting looking at your passport. been to the Middle East. That's true. You went to Abu Dhabi last year around the same time. You also only stayed for two days. It's hard to get time off when you're a waitress. Mm -hmm. Do you know Sheikh Al Khaled? Mm -hmm. Okay. I just, um, I can't find anything, I'll be honest with you. I can't find anything in your phone. I don't even see any pictures in Dubai, by the way. That's interesting. You don't have a camera with you. I'm not really into the new age technology stuff. I like to just experience things. Not into new age technology, but you have one of these bad boys. Okay. You can't live without Oh, you can't live without technology. Okay. So, um, we have some people doing, uh, running a test, a pregnancy test on your ear. Because apparently you're pregnant. So, we can't do an x-ray. You know what is even more interesting is how confident and cocky you're being right now. I have nothing to hide. You have nothing to hide. Okay. You have nothing to hide. All right. Just a moment. Search. Okay. Okay. So 
So I would like you to, you don't need to disrobe completely. I'd like you to take off your sweater and I'd like you to stand up. Pull your pants down. You don't have to take them completely off. I've done this a few times, 